Hi, welcome to Dickie's Postman channel where I normally review selfie sticks and action poles. I'm trying a different way of um, producing action poles, <laughs> reviewing action poles for you, sorry folks. So instead of doing a tabletop looking down view, I'm gonna be doing a standing view from now on, just to give it a bit of a mix up. So to kick off this new style of videoing for my channel, we're gonna start with the Anua 68 inch boom microphone boom pole or monopod. Now I purchased this from Amazon UK for 38 99. It comes in this plain brown box. The actual writing on the front here that tells you what it is is basically for Amazon's purposes for their staff to know what's in the box. But as you can see, it's just a plain brown box, not even anyone's um, logo on there whatsoever. You get the boom pole stroke monopod and you get this quarter inch female to three quarter of an eighth of an inch adapter. Now I'll show you later on in the video where this goes. This is what the actual pole looks like. So I'll start off with the actual retracted length before going to how it looks when it's extended. Now the actual length from the very bottom to the very top where the actual quarter inch thread is at the... Sorry about that folks. At the very top where there's a quarter inch thread, it's 20 inches when retracted down. At the very bottom, we have a 3 8 female thread. Now, when I showed you earlier on the adapter, which is this little thing, and I'll try and pick it up on camera, <laughs> put a black black guy into it. Yeah. Now, this goes at the bottom and converts that 3 8 of a thread into a quarter of an inch. So this simply threads down at the bottom, like so, and there is a, what they call a flathead screw top to it. I'll try and get that in, folks, that's it. And as you can see, there's a line across the top, so you can actually use a screwdriver to screw this down, or a coin to screw that down, and that converts that 3 8 now into a quarter inch female thread. We have this foam stroke neoprene feel, well it's probably neoprene if anything, uh, handle which is roughly about, about literally about eight inches in length. Now I'm gonna get asked about the thickness. So the thickness of this particular pole is from, uh, the diameter is about one and a quarter inches, so it's quite a thick diameter. Uh, the shaft of this pole, I'm just gonna call it pole, right? The shaft of this pole is all out of aluminium construction, and it has three sections to it with these lock, twist lock system between each section. Up to the twist lock, what's are on there, which are three of them. These are constructed out of aluminium with this nice textured rubber layer right round each lock. And at the very top, we have a male quarter inch thread. What it looks when all three sections are completely extended out. Anwar state that it is 68 inches and they measure it literally from the very bottom and I can't reach the top folks, I'll try my best to the very, very top at 68 inches, but I do not go by that. I go by, because to me, you lose inches off the handle. You won't lose any inches off the top of here, because basically there's not much of a platform at the top. So basically, the actual length between the actual top, I'm, I am stretching here, folks, is 60 inches. And now for the wobble test. Now with my GoPro Hero Max at the very top as the camera to go on here, there virtually is no wobble. But please bear in mind folks that because this uses a twist lock system on each of these sections, please tighten these um, 
really tight. Um, if there's one of these just slightly tight, there will be a wobble at that particular point. But otherwise, when all three of these are tight, there's virtually no wobble in this. Now it comes to the weight of this particular boom pole or the pole, <laughs> the weight of it without the camera on top or any camera on top weighs 450 grams. Another thing you have to bear in mind with this particular pole is at the top where we have the quarter inch thread. And as you can see, I've got the GoPro Hero Max on there and you can see there's a bit of a gap and I've screwed it. I've got one of them uh, female quarter inch adapters on this GoPro and you can still see there's a gap here. Now I'm gonna change it out for a point and shoot camera to see if we still have this gap. And as you can see with my point and shoot camera, which is this Sony camera, there is a gap, not as prominent as using the GoPro um, Max, but there is a gap. So I suggest that if you buy this pole, get yourself a rubber washer and place it on the pole. Personally, I would just stick it down on the platform of this pole because there is no washer there at all or no rubber platform. So that's what I would do. As for placing cameras on this pole, in the description, Anwar doesn't really state um, what cameras can go on there up to what uh, weight of cameras. So my guess is this is a pretty strong pole. Um, very, very strong. So my guess is that your big SDLSR cameras can go on this. Um, your big microphones can go on this because that's what its intended purpose is for as well as a boom microphone pole. I hope I got that right. And as you can see, I got a point and shoot camera on there and it's suitable for your 360 cameras. Now, if you're gonna use your 360 cameras, such as the GoPro Max or your Instant 360 One R, bear it in mind, you have to get yourself a tripod adapter on there for those cameras, unless you've got the dedicated quarter inch um, screw thread adapter, especially on the GoPro Max. Now, if this pole is suited for these particular cameras, but please bear it in mind, and it should be on the B-roll, that when you look back at yourself, there will be a kind of black hole you'll be seeing down on your arm, on your hand, sorry, when you hold this particular pole, because it's quite thick. But thick body, 360 cameras such as these, uh, it's no problem. Now, if you're gonna use the Insta 1X or 1X2, you are gonna see a lot of this pole um, in your shots because it is quite a thick pole. Anua does claim that you can use this same pole as a walking stick. So for a quick side note, if you're gonna use this as a walking stick, um, well, double it up as a walking stick, you're gonna have to get one of these caps, the rubber caps to go on the end where the quarter inch male thread is. Now these caps you can get on eBay and Amazon and I think the name is, it's the Manfrotto foot rubber feet for the extreme, Manfrotto extreme pole. I think that's what the name is called to get these feet or it's a quarter inch thread cap. Now we come to the part of the video where I give my two pence worth on the Anwar 68 inch microphone boom pole stroke monopod. And I'll start off with the negatives first. And the first negative has to be the weight of this thing. Now without any cameras on top, whether it's an action camera, to a point and shoot, to a DLSR camera, this thing weighs a 450 grams so bear that in mind another negative has to be with this bottom section here the diameter of this handle I'll stroke the last section is one and a quarter inch in diameter which makes this pretty thick I can understand the thickness of it because it's a boom pole initially and a monopod so you need 
uh, the end to be quite thick or where the handle is but bear that in mind to some people this is a negative to others it's just a positive another negative has to be when you're using a 360 camera when you're using a 360 camera depending on the size or thickness of the body so if it's something which is as thick as this GoPro Hero Max or the Insta 1R you have no problems with that um, the only problem that you you have no initial problems with that as such the only thing when you're looking back on yourself when holding the pole you will see a black hole that you're holding just a small one but you can see that in the b-roll how it looks but if you're using anything like the 1x or the 1x2 or i think it's the Yi cam um, if you're going to use any of those thin bodied 360 cameras then you will definitely see some of this pole in your shot and the last couple of negatives are please bear in mind that when you screw a camera on here of any description that you are going to see part of the quarter inch male thread so you need to place a washer on the bottom um, when you can so like a rubber washer or a plastic washer so you don't see this gap another thing is the compact size of this thing it's not that to some people depending on the backpack that you're carrying this may just fit in there at 20 inches if it's a small backpack that you're carrying this obviously is a bit big so the compact size of this thing is a negative to some but not for others the last thing i almost forgot that one folks this thing does not float so when you're going to go buy water with this thing depending if it's a pool you could probably fish it out if it's a pool but if it's anything like rivers or lakes or even the sea this is not suitable to take on a boat or anything like that because if this drops it does not float it will just sink and now for the positives and the first positive has to be even though i've got it down to size has to be this incredible length that this thing extends out to and the steadiness and the firmness that it is there's literally no wobble when you fully extend this thing out as long as you have these sections these twist lock sections um, tightly locked then there's no wobble in this um, as you can see on the b-roll that I was passing through on this video um, you do not get no tripod legs with this uh, at all but if you're going to get tripod legs make sure that you get a weighted tripod legs to go onto this pole especially if you're going to have it fully extended and um, because obviously the taller something is the center of gravity is also higher <laughs> not lower it gets higher so decent tripod legs for this and weighted and you've got a great pole uh, for outside another positive has to be the build quality of this thing this thing is built like a tank I wouldn't suggest using it as an action pole it's because of just literally how thick it is but the build quality is up there I'd say like a sandmark pole when it comes to um, build quality positive has to be with these twist lock sections here or the twist locks for each section I like how they've coated them with this nice rubber very very grippy lots of texture on there feels absolutely solid when touching it doesn't feel like they're loose or they're the about to get as you loosen them it doesn't feel like it's this is too loose they're just right so the build quality of this really do like and the last positive has to be that you can this particular um, pole you can place anything on there whether it's going to be you're just going to solely lose it as a microphone pole as a boom microphone pole or or a monopod as, a, as it suggested it is suitable for all cameras now it's I have not got a heavy DLSR camera otherwise I would have placed it on here to show you but it can take the weight of them obviously please bear in mind that if you're going to use a heavy DSLR camera god what a tongue twister please bear it in mind that 
obviously the more of these sections that you have out, the more you're gonna have a counterbalance weight with the DSLSR on the top. So please bear that in mind. Personally, I would go with the last section and just go only half the length just to be on the safe side. Now, this is my overall opinion on the Anwar 68 inch boom microphone pole stroke monopod. Overall, for its price of $38.99 on Amazon UK, I think this is a great buy. To me, it's a very good buy, especially for somebody who's got a 360 camera or even a GoPro camera or even a point and shoot camera or a DSR camera, basically any camera who wants a nice um, tall overhead shot. It's quite sturdy for what it is and it is far better than those twist, um, when I mean twist lock section ones, the ones that you pull out and just simply lock, twist each section. It is more sturdier than that. If you're looking for something that it's gonna be in windy conditions, um, this is quite, as I said, because each section is quite thick, all you want is a decent set of heavy um, tripod legs or a counterweight to a very spread, widespread um, tripod legs to the bottom of this and you got yourself one sturdy pole that can cope with even the most gusts of breeze, uh, winds, breeze, winds. So for that, it's very, very good. As I said before, I wouldn't use this particular pole as an action pole because just simply because of the thickness of where the handle is, it's, it's a bit too thick to hold. So please let us know down in the comment section if you happen to have this poll, um, because obviously your opinions are different to my opinion. So please let us know down in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long, but I like to go into detail to save you to trouble of when you buy the product, you know what to expect. So that's why my videos are long. Um, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.